Hello friends, I'm Colonel Failure. We're back in Stars and uh, last time we were wondering why the particle collector here was not being repaired. Well, I'll tell you why it wasn't being repaired. It had been, uh, it had been a, a, assigned to Frank Trombone, who's one of the surviving colonists. Uh, it's a mystery to me. Uh, but he couldn't get there because he's unable to fly. And you're going to go, I see. Uh, you, you kind of go. How did you? How did you know this? I press buttons. I press this. See, and he goes. Frank Trombone is there to uh, to go and check it out, and he can't get there because he's unable to fly. So I'm I'm taking out this vent, and then he'll be able to walk, assuming he's got a spacesuit. Otherwise, this is going to be a fruitless mission. Well, it'll be fun to watch, won't it? Right, well, okay, we've we've got high adventure kicking off from the get-go. We've got an oxygen pump broken down, which usually means it's caught fire as well. Um, no, it's just broken. Oh, okay, well, fix it. It's broken, broken. Ah, um, no. Uh, we better tell our we better tell our newcomers that this area isn't going to be viable for much longer. Sometimes, or no, everything has an end of life. Uh, at which point it can no longer be uh, can no longer be serviced, which is a bit of a shame, given that I haven't learned how to make oxygen yet. So I guess our next item to learn about is is rather dictated to us then. Uh, right, yeah, no, give me the thingamajig and tear it apart, please. Right, okay, we can take that apart. We're gonna get rid of that block door. Is it? Oh yeah, I suppose I brought this pod in from outside, and uh, and I just left it in a, a stupid place. Right, let's put it there. There you go. I brought Frank's bed in for him. That made him, I'd, well, I don't know. He's sleeping in inside now, so I suppose that's an improvement. Um, all right, you need repairing. I'm all about making the place as, as joyous as possible for the people who live here, and uh, you know, because I'm a I'm a caring astronaut, something or other. So you know, yeah, read it and weep. Or something, I don't know. Right, let's hook up these extra processors into the central cortex. Because that makes it sound like I know what I'm talking about, which obviously I do. We'll turn a heater on in there. And there's a little robot charging station, which will be good. But it means that soon I will switch this vent on as well, which will allow the, uh, the Atmos that is being generated elsewhere to percolate outwards, which would be nice. We do like a bit of percolation from time to time. I think this plant has been fixed. Have you been fixed? It's fairly worn out, but it is fixed. Is it fixed? I don't think it is. I think it's I think it's busted. No, it says it's undamaged. It's worn out, friend. Um Oh, okay, well, take it apart then. If it's not gonna do us any good, then why have we got it? Uh I've I've, I've refurbished the table, which is good. I've got a couple of broken chairs here, which I'm fixing up as well, because this is going to make the old humans a little bit more chipper about their lot in life. Or it flipping better do, anyway, because otherwise, why am I even doing it? Uh, we've got an object in an unsafe area. In fact, we've got multiple objects in multiple unsafe areas. Well, I mean, you can't hold me accountable for all this stuff. The ship was broken when I got here. Uh, right, this should now be accessible. Uh, the node is unreachable. Unreachable? No, no, no. That's for power. That's because it's not switched on at the moment. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pending repair. Yeah, 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 yeah. Are we good? Engage is now being assigned to it. Who can't? It's flipping between everybody available, and they're all unable to fly, which means that they cannot traverse the central corridor. By the looks of it, it needs to be assigned. To one of my flying robots either that or i build a little gangway around the outside but that seems like a heck of a lot of work for very little return on investment uh, i'll stick a door in here just because i'm passing there we go look someone get out there and fix this flipping thing this is essential before it breaks down entirely forever otherwise it will have been an entirely worthless endeavor my uh, my attempting to uh, to gather that just saying. I mean, obviously, you lot don't care. No. No, none of you care. We're going to need another storage unit soon. Well, let's get it built now, and then we've got it. There's the facilities storage units. There. Good. Right. Okay, super. 
yeah, I mean, we'll be emptying these out as soon as we start manufacturing. Uh, but we're not at the point of starting to manufacture. Not yet. Soon? Oh, oh definitely soon, but not now. No. Uh, right, you lot. Yeah, get hauled. Thank you. What do we get there? Microchip, optical fiber. These are good things. Uh, transistors, gears, gears used in doors. Yeah, 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 yeah. All of that's all of that's worth having, and that's nice too. Great. Yeah. Objects in an unsafe area. Yeah, yeah. I know. It's going to be fine. Don't worry your pretty little head about it. I'm going to stick a vent in here once I've got the O2 running in this one. Uh, who's this? Oh, we had a new colonist wake up. This is Janet Mission. Uh, she's not so healthy at the moment. She's sleeping in somewhere with no life support, but it does at least have a, uh, a thermal unit. Uh, how's the oxygen? It's declining, but not, not massively. It's clean, and I think she probably appreciates that. Um, you never know. I, I, I would assume. I would assume that's the sort of thing that she'd appreciate. It's the sort of thing I'd appreciate, and therefore I'm, I'm transposing my own personal beliefs in such a situation onto her. Great. Let's make this door actually close, otherwise what was the point in fitting it? Yeah, good. Right. Uh, Atmos, Atmos control coming up. Feels like we're getting somewhere. Maybe we are, maybe we're not. Uh, this has been doing its job. We've torn apart a, a lot of robots there. And, uh, and all this gubbins. There we go. That's promising. Oxygen pump, airlocks, floor vents, all of that kind of caper. Floor vents! Useful in rooms that what get too warm. Yes, they are. Uh, right, let's get the oxygen on the go again. No, that's the, there you go. Oxygen pump. Stick it in there. That was a good place for it. Yeah. Do we want another one? Do we want to start filling this corridor? I don't think that's unhelpful, except I'm going to tear the entire corridor down soonish. I'm thinking... Uh, we turn this into our main ship here because we don't need it to be as big as it is currently Tear up everything we've got going on there move the main computer out to a secure area in the central reservation and uh, And then get some engines going and get the hell out of here That's my scheme. So we'll be taking this corridor back apart again um, But there is no there is no wasted uh, effort only uh, only wasted Yeah, right so there's there's that then right there you go just go and put those somewhere out of sight would you that's water we've got there as well you see that's 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 nice to have it's the sort of thing people appreciate uh right plug this in go start making air now pronto good before she keels over and uh, and everybody's unhappy right what do we want to do next right well i've got life support what i should probably do is uh is get the, the auto dock would be a good buy but i mean it needs another four memory modules to make that work we're, we're out of disk space at the moment hygiene's worth having it makes your your people happy plus you generate uh dirt out of that as well which can be used in planters speaking of which i should probably research planters yeah still want uh still want manufacturing though that's the one we're really going to need what, do you want to pursue it? I'm going to bang it in the queue. I'm going to put up enough memory modules so that we can store the new stuff that we're learning. And then if it doesn't play ball, we'll go, oh, obviously this tier two business is something I should be paying closer attention to. Uh, and uh, and we'll, we'll call it a day at that point. But uh, just go. Let's bang three of them in. Open the codex. No, I don't want to open the codex over there. You're all right. No. A star deuspedia. No, I'm not interested. No, you you're okay. No, it's, it's that's all fine. I don't need to, I don't need to know anything about code codices or or anything like that. The fact that these crops are just lying around here perturbs me a little. Maybe there's a crafting table that I've missed. Tables, yeah, great. Good chairs, yeah, yeah, good. I want the stars disappeared, please. Vase, yeah, yeah. Beds lovely right there we go because when the stars are gone it means that I've, I've properly explored it airlocks we should probably start using those for the exteriors rather than what we have been using so far which is just a regular interior door and going ah we'll be fine close it quickly so we don't let all the air out and then people will you know they'll get behind that 
All right, that's everything. So, food production, cooking station, and that's your lot. But I've learned how to make vegetarian meals. Uh, cooking a survival meal, which is great. But there's only so many alien bits of goo that we've got kicking around on the ship that I can turn into survival meals. I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it isn't. But hey ho, I mean, you know, we'll 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 get to it. Right, plug these in. Yep. And hopefully the research will spring into life. And go. There we go, we're away. Now this is gonna drain the heck out yeah, there we go. This is draining the heck out of my electricity at the moment. Um I think I've got enough, but if I just keep an eye on a battery, we'll know soon enough. Charge ninety seven percent. Okay, that bodes. Yeah, we are currently running the batteries down. Well, let's chuck in another flaming generator then. Because uh, if we're only running them down quite slowly, then we should we should be within the uh, the margin of something or other. What now? Oh, dust storms kicked off. I told you it would do. Yeah, right when we needed it. Yeah. Now the only thing I I don't object to the dust storm. It, it takes out your solar panels basically. That's its that's its sole function in life. And you kind of go, well, it's, it's nice to be useful. Um, uh, but the the thing I don't like is I think that this dust effect over the top of it. I don't like it. It's just not pretty. No, it's, no, it's just me. Still unreachable. It's not flipping unreachable. Just assign one of the other robots to it. No, you can't, because someone else is assigned to it. Oh, well, in which case, if I cancel the repair job, right, and then reassign it, maybe it'll stick someone else on it. I've done this before as well. It's been evaluated a good 40 or so times. Good. I don't think... Who's actually been assigned to it? Requires ability to fly. Yeah, and it's assigned to someone who can't fly. So don't do it. Give it to someone else. Razi Nora Frank. I mean, what? What's the point of you? Hmm. Nothing. That's what. Yeah, you know, just spare me. People who just go like, oh yeah, I'll take that job on. Can you do that job? No. Oh, you joker. Yeah. All right. Well, if it. I mean, what if I were to build floor all the way around the outside of it? I'm not convinced that'll work. I've got, look, I mean, look at this cheeky chappy here. Oi, dying attack. You fancy uh, having a pop at this? Huh? No. I want to be able to assign a particular individual to work on it. Dying attack's airborne. Right. Now, I know he's more of a hauler than anything else. Uh, but at the same time, get out there and fix the flaming thing. Why don't you build some floors as close to it as you can and see if that works nothing ventured and all of that so you can't put them there can put them here we'll put them in then and see what we get out of it yeah and then some over here i don't think it's going to work no i don't think it's going to work but i'm going to give it a go because until this thing is fixed we're we're gradually running dry our resource pile of usefuls because this will pick up space debris and we get to choose what sort of space debris we're after which can then be fabricated into something magnifico don't think it worked no i don't think it worked let's have a look requires the ability to fly janet can't fly either well i don't want janet to do it give it to a robot maybe you haven't got a robot who's good enough at it yet oh hold on frank's here hello frank all right, bye, Frank. No, he just came to fix the last panel there. Great. Nice one, Frank. Yeah, no, no, you you are truly the MVP of this particular operator. Oh, I didn't finish hooking up my power generators. Uh, there you go. Get to work on that, and please stop me from running out of power, because that wouldn't be an optimum outcome there. Well, okay, well, look, if we need, re if we need repair practice... Let's repair everything, even though we're quite likely to tear quite a lot of it apart. Get to work. Go. Yeah. And this. Repair it. Yep. Yeah. I reckon that's, I reckon that's definitely what the cause is. 
Yeah, it's down to stuff that we need repairing that we but we just can't at the moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they need. Pr oh, look at all of this. It's a target-rich environment. If ever I saw one, this is a. I, I said earlier that there was no such thing as a waste of time. This is a waste of time. Yeah. Still, manufacturing's nearly done, and that's a good thing. Because uh, then we can get that rolling, and uh, and good times will be upon us relatively quickly. But uh, I'm still going to see. Look, there you go. And what, look at that. Straight in. Fisher Price making it happen with his electric repair gun. Well, wow, Fisher Price, you ruddy legend. Oh, uh, yeah. The lady robots will be speaking your name in, uh, in hushed and admiring tones. Uh, right, let's now get rid of this excess floor that I built for no good reason. Yep, thank you, Nokia. Nokia and Fisher Price to the rescue. Right, plug this bad boy in. It's out of range. Plug it into there then. There we go, we're golden. Right, start getting me the start bringing me the news. Uh right. What do we want? Iron. We haven't got any raw iron on board at the moment. That's not necessarily a bad thing. I've got plenty of steel plates kicking around. Um we could go for uranium, but that's two megawatts it's going to use, and I'm not generating that kind of power. Uh, just start getting copper. All right, give me, give me some copper. So that'll just do its thing, and once in a while it's going to dump out a lump of copper down there, and we'll go, hey, hey look at that, a lump of copper. And you go, oh, yeah, 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 that's what we wanted. And you kind of go, yeah, it was, that's why I asked for it. Right, let's... That is an airlock. Oh, okay. Well, look, let's stop just arbitrarily venting into space and close the airlocks up. That's just a door, right? Yeah. Okay, well, let's... No, no, why, why bother? We're going to move all of the stuff out of here soon enough. Fair, fair point. Yeah. At the moment, we're still, I assume, repairing stuff that I don't care about. Yeah, look, they're all at it. Well, it's a training exercise. Uh, that's got to be useful for something. So let's start... Right, cockpit here. Right, so if we, we we talk about grand schemes, right? Cockpit up the front, double the width that it is now, and uh, symmet symmetricize it. Put key facilities in the middle section. Uh, run an ablative armor system around the outside. Oh yeah, oh I know stuff about things. Uh, we'll do all of that. Meanwhile, I, I, you've finished learning manufacturing, sunshine. Get it hooked up. Uh, right, production one crafting station, please. You haven't worn out the old one. Doesn't matter. Get the new one in. All right, groovy. Uh, right, what we're going to learn next, kids? Uh, memory's full at the moment. Now nah, I reckon that's an aberration. I do, it shouldn't be in use, so we're, we're probably fine. And then we've got twelve disk space available. Let's go. Uh, let's go. Resource processing. There we go. Right. Yeah. You see, I think that's a display error. Because I think that that memory is only used up while you've got research going on. But I'm not sure about that. But that's my that's my think at the moment. Right, how are we looking in here? I've got a spare heater that I can plug in if I need to. But actually, 20 degrees, that's nice. 20 degrees, yeah. Minus 15 degrees. Okay, is that because it's cold in here? It shouldn't be cold in here. No, is that because it's cold out here? Yes. Right, okay, yeah. And so every time they keep opening this door, they're letting all the hot air out. Oh, yeah, that, I mean, that's the sort of thing used to make my dad go nuts. Uh, stop letting the cold air in. You go, all right, yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll just, I'm, you know, I've, I've got to use the door to go places. I need some cornflakes. Um, not because it's breakfast time, just fancy some cornflakes about now. You don't understand, Dad. Ugh. Cornflakes, man. It's essential at this time of day. Right. Okay. Whatever. Um. Let's start whacking in this central corridor. Now I realise I've deconstructed stuff down here, but it's very important to have a consistent pattern running. Right. And at the moment we've got what plain tiles. No. 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 Right. How big is your central corridor going to be? It needs to be big enough to fit these. Well, actually, go for this. So that's what five four. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yep. Give it some space around the outside. Seven. Yep. 
give it a little bit more space around the outside is, is nine okay that should be big enough to account to account for anything that i want to build there so at one yeah two three four yeah you, okay you'll you'll count that for me because you don't trust me to do it i presume i mean that's fair i mean i have got form for counting things on the script yeah yeah whatever um and uh, and you know getting the count entirely wrong so it's okay i won't hold it against you meanwhile we shall start taking this lot apart yeah it's going to blip at me to go like there's something in there yeah i know confirm it that pylon you can you can shred it i don't need it okay good this feels like progress it's probably because it is progress right let's plug in my crafty table we'll tear apart the old one i'm going to need two crafty tables but i might make might as well make a, a second one that isn't just going to fall apart in 10 seconds crafty station yeah it's it's more mostly broken already so uh, just just thrash it would you right you are hooked up and so what are we going to make uh we shall make uh right this is the there's a good microchips right because you need microchips to make all of this computery stuff which is what we need to do further research yeah and so we'll do that yeah how many do i want oh let's have let's have 30 that'll keep us going for a bit engage his construction skills up to level four we got an in incoming storage capsule let's follow it on in sometimes these contain griblies not often you usually the bigger capsules that contain you know nasty stuff that you don't want to tangle with but in this case i think we'll probably be all right uh right let's get some deconstruction going on this lot and that and this and that again and this yeah okay you sure that was necessary nope okay right you're gonna just plug that in there you go uh yeah smashing yeah i'm sure it's fine oh the dust storm's done good objects in an unsafe area how unsafe is it it should be fine or have we got people going in and out of this door all, all day long? I rather suspect that's the case. Minus 120 degrees. That's a mite frosty, perhaps. But not so frosty as you'd be terrified about it. Uh, the temperature over there is fine now. Because no one's been heading along this corridor in a little while. It's all good. Arguably, some lights in there wouldn't go amiss. And maybe I'll, maybe I'll do that. Maybe I won't. I probably will. But maybe I won't. You know, it, it really depends on the mood that takes me. How are you coming along with me, my central corridor here? Uh, you, I actually, I need one more row on there. Because you, you need, you've got to place floors in order to place walls. Yeah. Right, stick that in there. Uh, we'll stick this and that on there. Eventually, I will replace all these floors for no reason other than I'm a bit fussy like that. Yeah. But I'm going to do it now, actually, now that I've mentioned it. Resource processing's up. Now, we've got a disassembler. I mean, it's seen better days, but we've got one. Uh, and then we need a grinder. And what the grinder is going to do is that's going to uh, take care of the raw materials that we're picking up and turn them into something that is arguably serviceable. So I'm going to get one of those built in here, if there's space for it. Which, helpfully, there isn't. Oh, good. Well, I feel I feel great about life as a result of that. That's all right. You'll be okay. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. It's, it's going to be it's going to be absolutely fine. So, what I hear you cry? Are we going to put in this central area? Well, obviously, you've got a big fat bay to stick all of the uh, all of that to survival cloning. It's not a cloning chamber. It's a stasis room. Right? We'll slap that in one. I'll turn another one into a segmented barracks, so each room is is uh, independent. Uh, that'll be that'll be welcome to some people. Yeah. Uh, I think we'll probably put supplies on the outside, so my storage bins. We'll put those on the outside. Less critical if we lose those bins because the, the you you get to maintain at least some of the the interior stuff. I think. I've, I've, I've been hit by meteors before, and let me tell you, it's not a lot of fun, uh, but it's fun. Uh, right, walls. Uh, right, you're going to remeasure this. 
No, I'm just going to do it like this. Uh, uh, nine. Yep. Yeah, if that's if that's nine. Yeah, no, that's fine. That's right. You're right. Do that. There you go. Then everything is golden, right? Slap some floor back in there. Now, these are big, fat spaces to have to fill up. And, uh, you know, as I think I've indicated already, filling up big, fat spaces is a fool's errand. You want lots and lots of lovely, lovely airlocks and that kind of behaviour. And we will. We'll definitely have that. You, you've decided to do this in a different colour to the existing ship. Yeah, I know. People will get over it. Are they going to get over it? Yeah, I don't think they're going to have much choice in the matter. I think you ought to research something nice for your colonists. You've got the fundamentals are now ticking along a little bit. Um, so, uh, so perhaps if you were to get the either the auto dock, which I think might work in your benefit, what does that need sixteen processing? Yeah, dream on. Uh, we'll get them a shower and they'll be happy. What haven't we got enough of? Storage space, I reckon. Yeah, full up. Okay. All right, well, let's build some more flaming hard drives then. Yeah. There are bigger hard drives available once you've researched them. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I know it's obvious. You're going to go, you're going to fill up your entire ship with flipping hard disk space. You're going to go, well, it's no real difference to my computer. Crikey, I've got acres of terabytes kicking around. We might have to use this as a, a terabyte overspill. Oh, that's okay. There's no, there's no harm in that. No. What's unsafe? Is it still the flaming loom yeah shouldn't be that unsafe you keep opening the outside door oh yeah yeah okay all right fine all right let's continue this floor along because then we can then we can seal the outside of that and it won't be exposed to the the perils of the outside of space which is neither warm nor breathable it won't happen quite so often Right, and so that's the interior block. And so then I'll mirror what we've got there on the outside. So it looks like a, it looks like an arrow. That's what it will look like. Yeah. What's the problem with that? Well, I don't necessarily have one, but I mean, you know, you could be a little bit more dynamic in your in your ship design. Get knotted. Uh, right, grinder. Where are you putting it? I might put it out here. All right, okay. Because we want one. You didn't build one somewhere else, did you? Nope. All right, get it built then. One times grinder. There you go. Just about there. It's going to move, but it'll it'll do there for the moment. Uh, we've got power coming from here. That'll be good. Yeah. See, look, he's he's chucking stuff into it. It's all working. It's uh, nice, no, good. Meanwhile, someone should be working on this, operating the handles. Yep, yeah, that's eighty nine percent done on a microchip. Oh, everything's coming up roses. And that, that makes this a good time to uh, to depart the scene for the day because everything's completely under control. There is no drama of any kind at all. Uh, the good ship, a sweaty marsupial, is uh, is five by five. It doesn't even need to be in the pipe to be five by five. It's just there, fiving along brilliantly. I've been Colonel Failure. I'll be back for some more of this because in case you hadn't gathered already, I like it a lot. Now, I mean, it's not quite there in terms of the, the depth of RimWorld, uh, but it's not quite as uh, fully developed as RimWorld. Yeah, the, the ship computer is overheating. Yeah. yeah, the WAM's overheating, the WAM's overheating. When you say it's overheating, yeah, it's 45 degrees and climbing. Here's how you fix that. We need to do this now. Uh, right, you go here. Yeah. Now, hold on. First of all, we knock a hole in the floor right about there. All right, there'll be a chap along to deal with that in a moment. Uh, then we go over to structure, then we go to floors, then we go to special floors, and then we go to the floor vent. Yeah, just as soon as someone takes out that bit of floor. Do you think you issued the command correctly? I don't know, try it again. Uh, it's reinforced floor, yeah. Take it apart. Did you take something else apart? I don't think so. But as ever, can't really rule it out. I mean, having all these power plants in the same room as the supercomputer that gets a smidge warm. Well, maybe there's maybe there's an argument to be made that that wasn't the uh, the soundest choice that one could have made. But I'm not going to uh, I'm not going to get into that debate with you because you're wrong. 
Yeah, maybe we should mo relocate the power plant as one of our early strats. There you go. Anyway, that's going to drop the temperature in here. Like gangbuck, look at that. But that's why you slap a hatch in the floor. There we go. Like so. Because then we can wire it up. And then when I feel like it, we can vent. Or what is more likely is that when I think someone's actually going to need to get in there, we can seal it back up again. I'm quite happy to have it exposed to the rigors of space. That's quite all right. Is the, he's collecting copper. Yeah, that's good. Uh, let's just do a quick check on how we're doing so far. Because we didn't have any copper to start with. We've now got 25. Oh, yeah. You want to see the grinder thing doing its whatnot? Okay, if it's done, I'll hook it up and we'll do that. Uh, right. Give it some go-go juice. Like that. Right, and I don't think I even need to configure it. I think it's just going to find anything what can be grinded. And, oh, no, no, you have got to set it. Uh, just No, just in a priority sense. That's now going to grind anything that it fancies. Hopefully that'll be something. It'd be nice to see it in action just before I leave. Just saying, would be nice to see. Just want to close that door. Yeah, all right. There you go. Turn the lights on. Yeah, all right. There you go. Good. I'm in Colonel Failure. Tune in next time, won't you? Where we'll continue to build a big bit of flat, flat bit of ground in space. Look at this. There's a flaming oil spill there. Oh, dear. No decorum amongst my people at all. None whatsoever. Oh, well. That's, that's on them. Yeah, I suppose it is. Right, there you go. I'll catch up with you next time. Thanks for watching. Cheerio.